them. Familiar, you have you always say stuff like that, and it kind of worries me, okay? Can't they just be enemies? Do they have to be part of the sacrifice that you keep alluding to? You talk about opening their chests up with your weapon, and I don't know. I just feel like that's yeah, sure, it's an imposing battle cry, but it also kind of does it not, you know. Do you not think that, do you not realize that it kind of creeps out the rest of the party, Camellia? It's an issue, okay? Just tone down on the bloodlust, please. And jeez. Okay, Camellia, that was definitely toned down, but still a little bit creepy. Regardless, I think that's about as good as we're going to get from you. <sighs> Onwards we go. So, the door's locked. So I'm assuming... Oh my god, they're quite... They're quite quick when they sneak. Jeez. Camellia moves like a spider. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, it's like something out of uh, the ring. <laughs> Either way. Um, I'm assuming we're going to have to go through this way to get a key to go back through the other way. To metagame for a moment. Now what is that? It's a trap. And you're going to deal with it. I know I can trust you. You're very good at disarming traps. Let's see. Can, can you just... Can you just nudge through there without triggering the trap? Could you do that for me? You can. That's great. I am helpful. Am I not? Yeah. That was... Yeah. Thanks, Camille. I appreciate it. Sometimes I do just like to talk to the NPCs, you know? They, um... Makes me feel less alone in this little stream box that I'm in. You know? This is my entire world right now. I need company. You know? Not that you guys in chat don't keep me company. I appreciate the company from chat as well. But, um... This is the sort of company that only uh, only an NPC in a video game can, can give me. Sorry if that's disappointing for you to hear. I love you guys too. It's just the NPCs. With such battle cries as, I will tear you right open! What's not to love? Even if it is a little bit worrying. Uh, Sila, can you charge or are you going to take like forever to charge? Oh no, she's automatically charging. Wow, okay. The AI is smarter than I thought. Hmm. Let's see. Light of the Angels. Uh, no, we're just going to go ahead and stick with straight, straight ranged attacks. However, let's target that cleric because going off the first hand of, hand of Hasilla that we dealt with, um... Going off the first hand of Hasilla, I feel as though this is going to be a little bit tough to deal with. So if we actually manage to do some damage to the hand and then the cleric heals them up, that's only going to add insult to injury for us. So let's get rid of the cleric first, have the tank deal with... Have the tank deal with the hand for now and keep them occupied. Actually, send Camellia over there. Yeah. Uh, Quince asks, where in this world are you from? Uh, I'm from the UK. I was born and bred in the UK. England, to be precise. However, my accent is a little bit, uh, a little bit different than most English speakers. Uh, I come from a part of the UK where, uh, or part of England specifically, where we speak, um, we speak in a strange tongue. <laughs> um, but yeah an accent that's that's not changed for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years in fact i've actually had to tone it down significantly so that everyone on stream can understand me <laughs> so yeah the accent might be a little bit strange to any um, english speakers who i mean it's it's put it this way my accent full-on is uh is strange for for people from england to hear so i can't imagine what it's like for people around the world Right. I can't remember if smite... Let's save the smite because I'm anticipating that there's going to be a, something else that we have to deal with. That it's very, it's very unique. I like it, and I'm jealous. I'm sorry that I am. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm making you green with envy over the accent. However, I am proud to know that you like it. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a one-off stream where I where I I speak in in the full thick. Flanders accent. <laughs> Wait, Flanders is still... Oh my god, I'm still stealthed. How have I managed that? Oh no, no, I'm not anymore. Okay. Right. 
Let's chug some health potions. Okay. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Any loot in here? Besides from the dead bodies, that is. Oh boy. Armor, scroll, weapons. Ooh, another note, you know. And a key. Uh, hey. Let's take a little look, see. Um, Priscilla's orders. Follow these simple rules or you will die. I've already read this, haven't I? Don't bother me unless strictly necessary. Yeah, I have read this already. Never mind. That's disappointing. Do the ones from England use the term Donny? If so, what is a Donny? Donny. Oh, do you mean Dunny? Like the Dunny? I know that Australians use the term dunny, I believe, and that means uh, that means bathroom. Like if you go into the dunny, you go into the bathroom or the toilet. Uh, instead of uh, toilet, what 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 slang do we have for toilet or bathroom? We call it sometimes we call it the kazi. Oh no no, you mean specifically donny? Uh, like some folk like to continue that train of thought for a second. Uh, yeah, the Kazi would be a really, like, quite a, not a rude, but like a very informal way of saying toilet for some people in England. Uh, as for Donny, the term Donny, if so, what is a Donny? I have no idea. What is a Donny? I've never, I've never heard the, the, the term Donny, put it that way, but, uh, but there are a lot of dialects in the UK, uh, and yeah, there are a lot of dialects. A lot that I'm not even familiar with. A lot of weird slang terms in the UK uh, from different parts as well. It's like, um, like over in the northeast of England, in a, in like a Newcastle area. Geordies, we would call them Geordies. People from Newcastle or people from the northeast, and uh, they they would say like if they were going out in the city, they wouldn't say they're going like oh I'm going to go into the city. They would say uh, they would say as gone. Asganu on the town. Oh no, not they wouldn't even say town. They would say Asganu on the tune. Because the Geordies. So slang for city is town for some reason. But then again, their accent also changes town to tune. But yeah, there's a lot of weird dialects uh, in the UK. It's a very small place, but there's a vast number of different languages and, and, and slang terms and yeah. Priscilla's key. A sophisticated key inscribed with unholy runes. You sense a powerful magic aura around it. Okay. So I'm assuming that's going to open up the room that was locked prior. But yeah, uh, Donny. I'm not I'm not sure. Could you use it in a sentence? Like, have you heard it used in a sentence before? <laughs> if so, I could maybe hazard a guess, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of the YouTuber that used the word Donny or how they used it. Oh, I see. So YouTube has used it, so it probably is like a, a proper term. It's just I don't know. It depends though as well because I'm I'm not from the south of England. I'm from the north, and northerners have a very unique way of speaking. Let's say um, very different to southerners. I don't know. I suppose it's the same as like it's kind of like comparing. I don't know. It's probably it wouldn't be fair to say that it's like comparing Americans to Canadians because that's not the case. I would say the Scottish and the English are more like the Americans and the Canadians in that sense, but Northern is a Northern English are much well, I think a, a, a lot different to to it's Southern English people from what I've experienced anyways. Uh oh, would you look at this Donny? Would you look at this Donny? It could mean like uh it could mean like idiot like that's my my best guess would be like it's a bit of banter it's a bit of fun between friends so like you would say oh take a look at this idiot or for instance up here we would say uh like words like we would use words like divot or wazik like oh look at that wazik or look at that divot stuff like that but no i'm not familiar with the with the word donny i'd be interested to see what it means though these shouldn't be too difficult, right? Monitor lizards? Surely not. Surely not. Uh, either way, let's get the debuff to attack rolls. You know, I've got to be honest. I think the, my favorite part of these sorts of games is the storyline. 
And it is, it is, it is kind of fun to do the voices for all the NPCs as well. I'm not going to lie. But with that being said, the core rule sets. It's fun to learn. I'll put it, I'll put it that way. I don't think I know enough about the, the rule set to, um, to pass judgment on how it works. Because I'm a D&D &D guy. I'm not a Pathfinder guy. Okay, that was a big mistake. Camellia, run away. Okay, Camellia's not going to run away because she's dead. <laughs> Should have done a quick save, I think. Um, Lan. We might have to kite them again. In fact, actually, I'm fairly certain we're going to have to kite them. Uh, let's try and lead them out into this room, actually. Let's have Lan there. Good old Flanders over there. Sila, you're going to lead them in here. Come on. Kite. Kite like you've never kited before. Lan, you're not far enough back. Flanders, you're okay. That's quite something different. Thanks for your knowledge. You're most welcome. Most welcome. Like I said, I think I've, I think I've spoken about di some of the dialects from where I'm from before on stream. It's, uh, it's a very... It's a complicated topic. It's a complicated topic. There's a lot of slang that I think kind of blows people's minds. <laughs> when you tell them like oh yeah so for this sort of thing we would call we would call it this we would use this word i don't know it's fun it's fun to see i like talking about languages i like talking about dialects but it's definitely a complicated topic i mean it, it's kind of like you know trying to summarize an entire dialect uh sorry an entire language and its sub dialects you know it's difficult to do but, you know i can i can speak about mine but my, my language of others isn't, isn't great I'll, like I'll, I'll hold my hands up and, and say my my language of all other dialects is not great the ones that i grew up around i know well enough <laughs> um a large aggressive creature was kept in this cage judging by the bent bars that creature is now loose i'm assuming that creature was the two monitor lizards that we just encountered i think that's a safe bet right it might be worth resting up again yeah, I think we've cleared the entirety of the dungeon. There's probably some rooms down here, though, I'm assuming. I think so, anyway. Uh, let me just quickly check for that. Do, 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 do. Lovely. Okay, uh, yeah, I think it might be best to head here, rest up, and then push forwards. The bodies of the maze builders lie where they were caught by the earth element. The earth elementals. I didn't know there were earth elementals. I've not encountered any. Maybe there were supposed to be earth elementals here in... Like, maybe th maybe they were going to put, put earth elementals here and then they cut them from the game or something? Because we've not encountered any earth elementals. We've encou encountered a water elemental. Could be that they just forgot to cut this bit of dialogue from the game. I don't know. Maybe it's deliberate. Who knows? Right. Are we going to encounter enemies over here? Quite possibly. Let's go ahead What's and heal up a little bit. Uh, guess where I am guess where I am some of use odd words for some things guess where I am guess where I am I'm sorry Quince could you could you repeat that for me do you want you you mean like guess where you're from Ooh, am I only controlling Camellia? Apparently so. All into stealth, please. Or if you're meaning that, um, if you're meaning you want to know some odd words from my dialect, I can do that. Like uh, the go-to, the go-to sort of uh, example that I give when um, when I talk about like words from words from like the dialect from where I grew up. I remember being at university and one of the guys that I was uh, quite friendly with at uni uh, said to me, this was before the Christmas break, before we all went home for Christmas. Um, he said to me, oh, so what are your plans for, what are your plans for Christmas? Like, are you going home or are you staying at uni or what are you doing? 
And uh, without thinking, I kind of slipped into full, full dialect. And I said, um, oh, it's Gan Yam for Krimbob. And he was like, I'm what? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's Gan Yam for Krimbob. And then I was like, oh, wait, sorry. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going home for Christmas. So as would be I, or no, as would be I am. So as Gan, I, I am going. Uh, yam is one of those words that uh, where I come from, the, the dialect's quite influenced by the Norse languages. So like, uh, I believe in Danish and Norwegian, they would say him or ham, which would mean home. And we say yam. So there's a lot of like, there's a lot of historical influence on the dialect. Uh, like it was influenced by the Norse, Scandinavian languages, especially Old Norse in particular. Uh, it was influenced by them and then hundreds of years passed and it didn't really get influenced by anything else. It's quite secluded. Uh, where I am, where I am from, some of used words. Where I am from, some of us use odd words. Oh, some of you use odd words where you're from? What, like slang? Slang terms? If so, what slang terms? This is so interesting. I could hear about this for days. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. I, I'm definitely not an expert linguist, but uh, being, being brought up there, there's uh, like, we have our own, we have our own system for counting. So, uh, and what I mean when I say that is we have our own numbers. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, it would be Yantan, Nevera, Tevera, Fevera, I think. I think I might be wrong with the fifth one. I might be wrong with number five. It's been a long time since I've heard it spoken. Uh, let me see. Probably should have healed Camellio up a little bit better. I wasn't expecting another combat encounter. Uh, be oh, they're Cambians as well. They're going to be pretty difficult, right? Hmm. Oh, Camellio, run away. For the love of God, run away. Camellia, what are you doing? Run away. She's going to go down. I can see it coming. Okay. Endure this. Into the fray. Right. Do that and then take a health potion, I think. Lovely. Okay, that went much more smooth than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> right, okay. Can be in. Yeah, some armor, some weapons. We'll take all that. Probably going to have to dump a load of this before we leave because I'm guessing we're going to be over encumbered by the time we exit the dungeon. Especially with my tendency to just pick up every bit of loot I can. <laughs> Can't hide from me. Oh, is this another hidden... Ooh, it is as well. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, let's see. We have a half plate piece of armor. Oh boy. I remind a few guys that if you're enjoying the stream so far, I know there's a few of you hanging out in chat, hanging out, lurking and whatnot. If you're enjoying the stream so far, feel free to become a neighborino today by following. Uh, we of course have a Discord, we have a YouTube channel, we have all these wonderful things. Feel free to check us out on there as well. Uh, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Uh, we have another Kama Chameleon. Kama, 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 Chameleon. Uh, a heavy pick. I didn't actually realize that picks could be used as weapons. Interesting. And a masterwork great club. Uh, let me see. I'm sorry my typing is awful. It's late and I can't keep up with things. Don't worry about it, Quince. Don't worry about it. I understand. It's not, that's not an issue. Don't worry. It might just mean that, like, occasionally I have to ask you to repeat what you've said. But don't worry about it. It's all good. You know, honestly, if, um, like, I have a lot of viewers that that don't speak uh, English as their first language. And honestly, it's just amazing to me that people are able to learn it, honestly, better than myself, you know? I find that a lot of my viewers that don't speak it as a first language um, speak it much better than me. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind, of, uh, it's kind of inspiring in a way, I think. Right, let's stealth back up. And let's hope that there's no more enemies in here. But yeah, certainly don't worry about uh, don't worry about um, your typing. 
it's much better than it's much it's much better than a, a lot of people's is. Aren't we in trouble yet? Well. Let's see. Potion of cure light wounds. Ooh, let's go ahead and take it. And let's do the same on Sila. Okay, can we sneaky beaky over here? And Lan, can you go? Oh, is that cover? Does that act as cover? Like, will it be able to? No, it'll come through there, won't it? Well, let's either way. Let's try and get as far back in the room as we can. Flanders, you do the same. Head over there with Lan. Meanwhile, let's send Scylla up this way and try and kite it round. We'll see if Camellia can stay stealthed. That would be ideal. Yep. Didn't work. Okay. Disadvantage on attack rolls. Actually, no. Let's do AC. Because I would imagine the Earth Elementals have a pretty high AC. In fact, we can check that by doing this. 16 AC. Yes, AC is going to be pretty useful. A debuff to it. Um, Lan, please continue around there. I need you to get as far away from it as you can. Seal up. Charging will be good. Oh. Charging is blocked. Okay. You did, Seal, but it's okay. We forgive you. We forgive you. Um, that's that cast. She can sneak up here now. Can we get behind it? Yes, we can. I think we get flanking bonus, right? Yeah, very high AC. Very high. Um, did we did we subtract from its AC or not? I didn't see if it cast it. Uh, yeah, I think that worked. I mean, it's dead, so I would assume so, right? Right, let's see. What did we get from that? Meteor Dust. Okay, used in brewing of potions and scribing. Very good. The the potion brewing and the scribing in this game isn't something that I've really delved into. I think this playthrough, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay a little bit more attention to it. Because, um... I don't know, I feel like it's an element of the game that I just haven't embraced. With that being said, I, I suppose I haven't really embraced a lot of elements of the game. Considering my last playthrough was pretty short. Uh, so are you controlling the teammates? Yes, I am. So it's uh, it's single player, which is unfortunate really. It would be really cool if they had a multiplayer element to it. But uh, yeah, it is, it is party management. So I'm playing my character. But then I also have to take turns in combat for the um, for the allies, for the companions. Let me see. So, I get the feeling that I'm missing something. I think there was a room that I didn't go... Yeah. Almost missed that room. So, is that the only room I've missed or is there more? There could very well be more rooms that I've missed. I think that's it. I found... Yeah, you found something. You found a trap. Thank you very much, Sila. We would have walked into that otherwise. I am helpful, am I not? All right, let's go back into stealth. So I don't know what I'm going to down here. Oh well, this doesn't look very good. We've got a pit full of blood and gore. We've got some cages filled with blood and gore. There's some bones over here. There's blood on the floor. There's a cambion over there. That makes total sense. Uh, Sila, please be the tank. Get up there. Can we charge at it? No, we can't yet. Um, let's use Evil Eye. Let's subtract on the AC. Debuff the AC for it. Flanders and Lan. Focus on range. But yeah, Quince, it's, it's, a, it's very fun. If you're into RPGs, like role-playing games at all, in any way, I don't know, uh, I'd recommend it. Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Very, very, very fun can be a little bit of a steep learning curve if you've never played anything like it before, but uh, very fun nonetheless. Do not fear. Do not I think the best, I think that was a very large battle cry from the Cambion. Uh, I think the best way I can, or the, the closest comparison to like classic gaming that I, that I tend to make is that it's a lot like the old Baldur's Gate games, uh, like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, if you're familiar with those. It's quite, it's, it's a lot like that. I think it takes a lot of influence from that. Um, right. Please, AC. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even realize. Right. 
subtract from the attack rolls. Seal up, please charge in. Oh no, it's blocked. Never mind. And you two are doing the right thing, right? Range attacks, yes. Yeah, this shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Oh, Dark Souls? Yeah, I haven't... Dark Souls was a game that really passed me over. The series passed me over, and I didn't really... I haven't really played Dark Souls. But yeah, it is... It is. I would definitely consider Dark Souls to be a pretty strong contender for RPG. Good games. Very good games. I have a lot of friends that are, like, really big into the sort of... Um, the Souls series. And I think Bloodborne as well, right? Like that was a pretty, uh, from what I hear that is, that was a pretty great entry in the um, list. But yeah, it's, I suppose, obviously I say I haven't really played the Souls games, but I would say that it's very similar in the sort of uh, the leveling up element of the game, but it's more like, this is obviously more of like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a tabletop role-playing game on the computer, whereas Dark Souls and yeah, Final Fantasy VIII, those games are very much actually yeah, it's probably quite similar to Final Fantasy VIII. I think Final Fantasy VIII is probably closer to this than Dark Souls is. But with that being said, I haven't played Final Fantasy since I was since I was really young. Like I think I was a little kid when I played Final Fantasy last, and I don't even remember which game that would have been. Uh, oh boy, we have a puzzle, I believe. I am going to totally guess the puzzle and see if I can get it right. Uh, red. Blue. Red. Let's change it up. Let's go for a yellow. No, that didn't work. Um, oh, jeez. Blue. Yellow, blue, green, no, this might be one more I have to cheat. I don't think there's any, there's no, there's nothing in here that suggests at the colors, right? Let me check the note. Let me see if the let me see if there's something in the note that I found. Hasilla's orders. Right, let's see. So, yeah, we've dealt with that. We've dealt with the water elemental. We've dealt with that. We've dealt with all these. So this must be number six. Find a better place, hiding place for the paladin sword from the surface. I'll deal with that later. So there's no clue about what the puzzle solution could be. Hmm. I just lost a 20k channel point prediction. Wait, what? You lost a what? You lost a what spark? A 20k? The bank has been broke? What? Channel point prediction? Okay, first things first. I don't know what that means. Can you explain it to me? A channel point prediction? Explain. Explain. I need I need to know what this means. This sounds like this sounds like something big. Uh you know when a streamer sets up a prediction? Oh right, okay, okay, okay. Now I'm with you. Why? What did you predict? Or what were they predicting, sorry? Or what were you predicting? I don't know, whatever it is. It's like a Twitch feature where chat bets on the outcome of something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm familiar with that. I just I yeah, I just didn't make the connection. Um And I don't know how to set one up myself. So speaking of which. Uh what was the prediction for? If I don't get it this time, I think I'm probably going to brute force it with, uh, with by looking for cheats online. I'm not past cheating to solve puzzles that... I don't know. I don't think there's a solution. I don't think I can find the solution in the dungeon. I've been all the way through the dungeon. And I've not found a solution. I predicted they would successfully beat the Path of Pain in Hollow Knight. Oh. Oh, okay. I've actually... I uh, A few of you guys suggested Hollow Knight on, on stream like a month ago couple of weeks back a month something like that it's a game i want to try at some point uh it's a, i definitely want to try it uh i think actually i think my partner owns it on the switch 
So once I've got a once I've got a video capture card, I might play it on the Switch. Hollow Knight is not a fun game in the sense it makes you cry. Oh, I can deal with that. I'll deal with that. I'll probably get a little bit salty, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> if people wanted to see it, I would play it. Um, but yeah, for the time being, I think it's probably going to be, uh, well, for a while at least, we're probably going to be doing Pathfinder and RimWorld, uh, getting through both of those as far as we can. We'll probably, we'll definitely finish RimWorld before we finish Pathfinder because Pathfinder is an extensive game from what I hear. A very long game. But we'll do a playthrough or two of Pathfinder and then we'll probably switch to something else. Switch uh, RimWorld. Sorry, a playthrough or two of RimWorld. Uh, and then we'll um, probably switch RimWorld to something else. Right, so Pathfinder. I'm Googling it right now because I don't have time to... I, I'm not going to sit on stream and randomly guess for the next, like, half hour. Oh, great. My phone just died. We're switching to tablet. <clears throat> Bear with me, guys. Uh, there we go. Salty as in cry? Yeah, salty as in like, uh, s well, not cry, but salty as in um, like, oh boy. Salty as in get a little bit uh, pissed off, like a little bit irritated. Salty as in that. But I mean, I think it's weird because I would say salty to me in that, but at the same time, uh, if, I, if I said I'm full of vinegar, that could also mean that I'm irritated or frustrated so like if someone's full of vinegar they're frustrated with something uh but at the same time if you're feeling a bit salty you're all, you're also frustrated with something so suppose you could say that we just have an obsession with using the names of condiments to refer to how we're feeling <laughs> you could also be sour you could also be sour yeah so maybe it's tastes as well salty and sour to say how we're feeling right so pathfinder um, what would the puzzle be called? Uh, color button puzzle. I also want to see if there is a solution. Like, I want to see in, whoever's written out a, a guide for it. I want to see if the solution is hidden somewhere around the dungeon, and I just haven't found it. Uh, or bitter, yeah, bitter as well. Sour, bitter, salty, yeah, all pretty much mean the same thing just in different circumstances, right? So like if, you, if you're sour, I suppose you're just feeling irritated by something. If you're bitter, you feel irritated by something that happened in the past. And if you're salty, in the present. So if you said, so if you said you're honey, you're sweet. I think people would, people would definitely say that somebody could be sweet like honey, but I don't think anyone would say like you're, you're honey. Like we don't use honey as a metaphor. But I think people would definitely use the the comparison of like, oh, that person, like he's sweet like honey. He's really friendly. He's really friendly and sweet. Um, let's see. So, so, so. Yeah, no, the, the guide that I'm looking at right now, um, it, it doesn't, the, apparently the, you just have to guess the, yeah, apparently you have to just guess the solution. It's it's not like listed anywhere in the dungeon. And apparently the solution is yellow, blue, red, yellow. There we go. Yeah, apparently it's not hidden anywhere. It's, you can't find it. You just have to like brute force it and keep clicking buttons. Oh, well. Um, or you can exclaim sweet as in success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if, uh, yeah. Like something goes really well. Oh, sweet. Although I think I think phrases like that are more American than English or British, I should say. Um, but there's a lot of like Americanisms that, I mean, people use them all around the world, right? Same as Britishisms. <laughs> um, let's see. You could say something is spicy to say it's unique or interesting or high risk. Ooh, yeah, like that's a spicy meme. Or, uh, ooh, let's do some spicy plays. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? How we how we use like flavors and stuff. But maybe that's why. Maybe it's because flavors are like a very unique and 
strong like we have a strong inference of what flavor like what a type of flavor means so if you say something spicy you can instantly picture what that means if you say it's sweet you instantly picture what it means you know like you can imagine it you can taste it yeah interesting um <laughs>